10 408 Fairview Road in Bartlow, Virginia, Spotsylvania County, Berkeley District. My topic issue is BDAP 00059. My concerns are pollutants covered by parking. Sorry, can you, can you speak into the microphone? I'm sorry, is that better, sir? A little better, yes. I'll try and stand closer. Is that better? Pollutants covered by Part 503 rule, land application of biosolids, <coughs> sewage sludge, as covered by Title 40, Code of Federal Regulations, and Virginia Regulations. Background, the ceiling concentration limits are the maximum concentrations of the nine trace elements allowed in biosolids to be land applied. Sewage sludge exceeding the ceiling concentration limit for even one of the regulated pollutants is not classified as biosolids and hence cannot be land applied. For example, arsenic under section 503 cannot exceed 41 parts per million or as stated in the, v, the Virginia rule, 41 milligrams per, per kilogram. Mathematical conversions are required to obtain the parts per million. The regulation indicated that measurements must be taken at the source of the material to be land applied. Periodic testing of the biosolids must also be tested at the disposal or land application site. Testing is required to ensure that the cumulative lawn, land loading does not exceed the ceiling limit of 41 parts per million for arsenic. Questions that I have under VPA 0059 is what is the method of application, injection, surface till, or surface untilled. Since the total of any one of the nine pollutants cannot exceed the 503 rule, there are 13 sites under VPA 59 being are, I'm sorry, are the 13 sites under VPA 59 being total to show the ceiling concentration. How are the totals being impacted by the loading levels of other sites that are in close proximity to the 13 sites under VPA 59. Owing to the size of Spotsylvania County and the water resources such as Lake Anna and the Chesapeake Bay watershed, are aggregate loading levels maintained at the DEQ region or state level? My summary statement, I have made numerous inquiries to obtain the answers to these questions, which are not fully covered in the draft VPA 0059. I am concerned that your the draft may be incomplete or in need of further study before proceeding toward granting any permits or revision to existing permits. I'd like to thank the Water Control Board for your time and attention to our citizens' concerns. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Uh, Cindy, before we go on, uh, I'm going to ask for a break. Okay. So we will be back at uh, 5 up, 10 minutes. Okay. Okay.